All right, I'm Andre, and I'm from Pasco, and I just want to share a few things that God's been working on with my life. And um, I smoked weed for about seven and a half years, and uh, I used it to get away from problems. I used it to uh, numb myself because, I mean, it got to the point where I did it so much where I didn't know why I needed it, why I wanted it. And so um, it happened, if you can show the, where's, if you can show the picture, um, it happened uh, on January 16th, I believe. Uh, I was working and we were driving back, it was probably like 10 o'clock, and we slid off the road. And um, if you guys know anything about laws of motion, Newton, third law of motion is a uh, object in motion, stays in motion unless acted upon some other force. And so we were going down that road about 25, 30 miles an hour. And uh, my buddy, my partner was driving and he was like, you know, I woke up and I was just like, hey, how are you doing? And he's like, you know, I'm tired, I can't. And he's like, I was like, pull over, let me start driving. And so I unbuckle the seatbelt, he presses the brakes and the car starts sliding. And if you're going 25 miles an hour and you're not wearing a seatbelt in the passenger seat, you'll be flying the other direction 25 miles an hour. And uh, I walked out of it, scratch free, no headaches, no pain. And the other guy, the driver, was actually had a like a problem with his head. He had like headaches afterwards. And this kind of set me up. And where, I mean, after the day afterwards, I went snowboarding. And I mean, I still smoked weed. And uh, but it wasn't the same anymore because I knew that somewhere something was holding me. Somewhere something was looking after me and didn't allow me to fly out that window and land God knows where because it was a good 30, 40 yard drop afterwards. We we're going down like a mountain road. And um, I mean, I laid in bed, I questioned, I was like, why, why, why? And, uh, and so, and then I started thinking about, you know, my addiction. I started thinking, I was like, God, you know, why do I need this? And, and, and I felt like God told me, he's like, this addiction is a symptom. It's not your root. And I was just, I looked, I was just like, what the heck? You know, I've been struggling with this for seven and a half years almost. And God started showing things back to my first relationship where, um, I mean, some things happened, some things were said where I didn't know how to deal with it. And so I started running to marijuana to numb the pain. And I started running it to so much, to so much that, I mean, throughout life, um, I did modeling. I did underwear, model, underwear modeling. So, I mean, I was ripped. I, most of you gym monkeys, um, you know when you see a guy who's 185 pounds and has 3% body fat, you, that guy walks like a lion. Everybody, even gym trainers would ask me, what are you doing? What are you taking? Because, I mean, gym trainers for about what, four or five years, they couldn't get to where I was, where I got in like two, three months. And I mean, and still, still inside that rejection, it's, it was growing bigger. Even though I was, you know, walking on clouds and like, you know, walk, people were envious of me. And I still, there was just a big hole in my heart that would not be filled. And I mean, I wanted to, I wanted it to be filled. So I tried, I tried it all. I mean, I didn't go into heavy, heavy drugs, but I tried with what I tried, you know, messing around with opposite genders, thinking that, you know, that maybe that someone will love me for who I was, but I didn't know who I was. I've been lying to myself for so long. I've been deceived but so long that, you know, I didn't know who Andre was. You know, I knew that, you know, I'm a, I'm a dude, you know, but I couldn't, you know, like I woke up in the morning, I had no purpose to life. I, I smoked weed in the morning before I went to work. I had to smoke weed to go to sleep because if I didn't, I wouldn't sleep at night. And the times I try to quit, um, I would only get like maybe an hour, two hours of sleep at night. And I would start losing my appetite. I would went from 185 to about 140 in two weeks. I mean, that's weight loss. I mean, that's, I was going nuts. And it got to the point where uh, I couldn't handle it anymore, where I was laying in my bed and I was just like, you know, I can't do this. And um, that's when thoughts of suicide started creeping in. 
And, you know, they start creeping in, creeping in. I, you know, I would just be like, you know, this is just stupid, whatever. And uh, after a while, after a while, just the worthless, like, I felt so worthless. And so I started entertaining those thoughts. And, I mean, I come from a family. Some of you guys would want to be where I am, like, loving parents, loving siblings. I mean, we're not wealthy, but we're prosperous. We're happy. I wasn't. And that's what killed me. And so laying in my bed, uh, I, was, I, I knew that if this wouldn't stop, I would not see 2016. And it scared me because, you know, looking at myself, knowing what I could become and not being able to reach out and grab it because of the ball and chain that was tied around my neck and that would always hold me back. And um, I, I just didn't know what to do. And so... I mean, I've been to church most of my life, and so I heard, you know, God heals, but I, I didn't see it do it in my life because I was so in pain. My heart was just so shattered, and uh, I lay there, and I felt like the soft voice was like, Andre, I died for you. My heart was broken for you. I bled out all my blood, so that way you don't have to live in pain. And I... I, I didn't know. I was like, God, I didn't know how to let go. I didn't know how to forgive myself. I didn't know how to forgive others. And I didn't even know who I was. And, uh, and it was just that still small voice that said, just give it to me. Why are you carrying something so heavy that I took it all for you? And um, that night, I, I just said, God, I don't need it anymore. And uh, it was just like this, just like that, like just weight lifted off me. I cried, there was, I mean, my bed was completely wet because of my tears. And um, first night in about seven years, I went to sleep. First night, I went to sleep laying on my back. I woke up on my back, morning I come around. I was so fresh, I was so rested where I mean, seven years, I, I, I couldn't, I mean, it would be weeks where I would go with five hours of sleep, and it destroyed me, because I knew that there was something holding me back. And uh, after, after it happened, um, I never had dreams. So when I go to sleep, I would wake up, and there would be nothing. And I, I was like, I knew that there was, you know, like, and the Bible says that they will dream dreams, and they will have good sleep, and so... Two days afterwards, I started having dreams again. And I mean, I, I was so happy to wake up. I was so happy to, to see sunlight again. And before it was like, you know, why this, another day? And I mean, it was just the greatest feeling in the world. And um, And I just wanna say that you know, God took it all away, and it, I felt like God said, you know, you were on my mind before I made the world, and that caught me so deep, because, I mean, I, I hated everyone, I hated myself, and to know that the creator of the universe was, uh, was thinking about me before even he made the whole world, just, just, just stuck me so deep, and I mean, after that day, I mean, I still had, I still had cravings, until God was just like, give it to me, give it all you have, give all the burden you carry, just drop it on me, and I'll take it, you take my load, it's so easy, and I mean, I came to a realization where I, I needed this, and so I finally made the decision, and after that, I mean, my life is never the same. I mean, all you people that, I mean, going through the same thing, maybe it's, maybe it's not rejection, maybe it's something else, don't give up. There's, there's God in heaven who, who is the architect. He made you. He knows how much hairs are on your head. He knows the way you, what you need and what you want. Just, if it's pain, just give it to him. He took it all for you, and he, he didn't hold anything back. And so just, I want to say that don't stop. Even though life gets hard, don't stop.